Hi guys, this is Brooke and today I'm going to talk about my disabilities, including the newest one. What is going on with my brain? What is going on with my neck? Okay, so I have a reverse curve of my neck. It is genetic. It is not an injury. My dad had a reverse curve of his neck. I have a reverse curve of my neck. My sister has it. Your neck should be like this and then that holds your spine your your brain your skull i meant to say your 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 top of your spine is your neck and it should sit like that mine sits like this it's just the way genetically mine is i also have a scoliosis issue and my tailbone faces the wrong way so it's just something that genetically i was born with again because of that reverse curve of the neck, and now there are other people that have reverse curves or humps in their neck, and this, the situation that I have, does not happen to them, but this happened to me, and it didn't, also did not happen to my dad, I don't believe, and it did not happen to my sister as far as I know. However, this is what happened to me. Because of this reverse curve, my cerebellum which is the bottom little back part of your brain my cerebellum has dropped out of the little opening of the skull the bottom of the skull so part of my brain is not sitting in the skull it is called chiari malformation c-h-i-a-r-i there are things they can do for it, like remove your skull, part of your skull, over that area, which will remove the pressure off of that part of the brain and the spinal cord, if it's pushing on the spinal cord. It used to push on my spinal cord. That's why I did have past paralysis issues, not full paralysis, partial paralysis. I had intermittent paralysis. That's when my diagnosis of MS came into play. Recently, and in my last video, I was saying I'm being checked for heart failure. Well, turns out my heart is fine. However, the cerebellum controls your heart, how your heart beats. If it is out of your skull and it is under pressure and I have inflammation in my neck, and injure myself it can make my heart go a little wild it controls your breathing it controls your vision your balance it controls a lot of things your cerebellum controls a lot um so good news is i don't have any heart issues bad news is i'm having heart trouble because of the brain issue so if I can keep my neck safe, if I could keep the inflammation down, I should not need neck surgery. I should be able to function well enough. I still need to see the neurosurgeon and get some answers. I need to find out what he wants to do. I already talked to the neurologist, but I have to talk to the neurosurgeon. Um, this is a new diagnosis for me. I have had neck MRIs but the neck MRIs never told me this because they were telling me about my neck they I never never knew and I just thought well yeah I have a reverse curve yeah I have a stiff sore neck I have a really sensitive neck I could barely turn it I can't sleep on my side you know everything seems to hurt my neck I, I'm always getting migraines and I knew that I had the past paralysis, which I blamed on my neck. I blamed everything on my neck for good reason. I do have a neck issue. However, I didn't know about the brain one. And here I was trying to work out and lift things and I injured myself. And right after injuring myself, I found out about this. So had I have just found out first, I would have avoided this most recent injury and I would have avoided weeks and weeks of um, 
migraines, but I can't wish backwards. I can't look backwards. It is what it is. I will recover from this um, latest bit of inflammation. I will recover from these migraines. I have recovered from paralysis before, so I believe I can recover from this. Um, I like to think positive. I don't want to think of the worst case scenario. I don't want to think that I'm going to need brain surgery. Is it a real possibility? Yes. If I move the wrong way, if I try to get back in the gym and lift heavy weights again, then I'm only doing that to myself. Then yes, I'm going to end up with migraines again. I might end up with more numbness, paralysis, vision impairment, breathing issues, heart issues. And then yes, I'm going to need for sure to have brain surgery because I injured myself and was not being intelligent and protecting myself. Now that I know, knowledge is power, and now I could be more careful. That being said, that is the brain situation. You also now know about the reverse curve in my neck. You know about the scoliosis. You know about the tailbone being facing 60% the wrong way. I also have deteriorating arthritis. I have joint inflammation. They say that I have lupus, although they have not found it in my blood. What they tell me is you can get false negatives and still have lupus. They ruled out RA, but then again, they tell me you can also get a false negative there. So I will be meeting with a rheumatologist and trying to figure out why, why, why. Ever since I was in my 20s, did I have arthritis and all these debilitating bone issues like stenosis, bulging discs, bone spurs, fluid in my bone marrow, just more and more and more and more bone issues. Um, but the one that's most concerning to me is the brain, obviously, because it controls so many other things. I can live with bone pain. Um, even though I suffer with it, I totally suffer with it. I have to, you know, limit everything I do. I spend a lot of time resting in bed. I can only walk so far. On days I have flare-ups, I spend them in bed. Um, I can only sit so long, you know, that I'm constantly doing injections and um, certain diets to try to limit my flare-ups. However, that is not life-threatening like this could be so that is the latest and um there are a lot of trolls out there that say that i am a hypochondriac but i have the facts i have the proof i have the evidence i have the mris proving that i do have these things it's not just like a um oh i'm hurting and they've called it fibromyalgia like widespread widespread body pain that they can't find the answer to like you can make up there are people that have widespread body pain that they don't know why and they call it fibromyalgia i'm not saying those people are faking what i'm saying is i have the actual proof evidence and the reasons like showing like oh you have a torn labrum oh you have arthritis or this and that I don't know why I have arthritis, but I know I have arthritis. So I know why my bones are hurting, but I don't know why I have the arthritis, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, also I just want to talk about the why I do YouTube. People tell me, get a job, get a real job. This is a real job. It makes real money. This works for me. I have not been able to work a normal job, like as far as clocking in with a regular schedule. I'm even nervous to make a schedule here for myself on YouTube because I don't think I can stick to a schedule here at home. I, I can't tell you guys, okay, every Monday I'm going to be on at this time and we're going to do this because I might turn on the, the camera on Monday and we're in, I'm in bed. You know, I'm I, when I said we are, I was going to say, like, we we are filming, like, we're talking to each other while I'm in bed. 
that might be what it's going to be. I might not get out of bed and do my makeup. I might not get out of bed and, and go to the gym. I might just have to be in bed and saying, sorry guys, um, I'm going to flare up. I'm going to be filming from my bed today. So, you know, I'm hesitant to make a schedule, but I'm going to try. And then that way, if I'm not able to stick to the schedule, I will just do my best and film from my bed. I will send a message and or turn on the camera real quickly and say, sorry guys, I'm not filming today. Or I won't film and I'll film the next day and say, sorry guys, I couldn't film yesterday. You know, I don't have to answer to anybody on this channel, which is the biggest reward. I don't have anybody that's gonna fire me. If I can't make it because I'm hurting, uh, most of you are understanding and forgive me. So this is why um, being a YouTube streamer works for me. Uh, I loved waitressing. I loved bartending. I loved being up on my feet. I loved um, cocktail serving. I loved those jobs. However, it's just not in the cards for, for me anymore. And that's okay. Maybe in the future. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not going to say never. Never say never. You never know. Maybe my rheumatologist is going to find an answer. And I'm going to have enough relief that I can get back to work. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to enjoy this so much that even if I did find relief, I'm going to stick with this. That's my prerogative. That's my right. But let me just say I am so thankful to all of you who watch and give me the opportunity to make an income from home. Because without you guys, I would not be able to make an income from the comfort of my home. And um, I have that um, independence again. I have that self-respect again. I'm no longer just laying in bed and wishing I could work. Now I can work. It may not be the most ideal situation or what most people consider a real job. But it is real money, and it is real hard work sometimes. Mentally, it might not be a lot of physical hard work, although it does take a toll on me physically. Mentally, it is pretty exhausting. So, um, it has its physical, I mean, it has its mental rewards, and uh, it has its downsides as well. So, I am trying to navigate that and figure out ways to make this more enjoyable with some less complaining less explaining and i don't want to discuss every single day all day long about my disability anymore so that's why i made this video so for those of you who came to this video to find out what's going on with brooke's brain what's going on with her neck why is she always having migraines why is she always hurting thank you for taking the time to watch this video i hope now you understand it a little better and um i'm not sure if i spelled it before but chiari chiari it's like it's spelled like chiari c-h-i-a-r-i -I, malformation chiari malformation but it's spelled chiari okay anyways love you guys hope that all made sense bye